From Voice of America, a new report says U.S. military assistance and intervention in Yemen and Somalia are fueling militancy because local populations see it as a form of aggression. Yemen became a focus of Western security concerns after a Yemen-based group allegedly linked to al-Qaeda claimed responsibility for a failed attempt to blow up a U.S.-bound flight last December. This past week, President Obama spoke to Americans about an alleged foiled terror plot originating in the country and used the opportunity to reinforce the United States' commitment to military intervention in Yemen. Going forward, we will continue to strengthen our cooperation with the Yemeni government to disrupt plotting by al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and to destroy this al-Qaeda affiliate. We'll also continue our efforts to strengthen a more stable, secure, and prosperous Yemen so that terrorist groups do not have the time and space they need to plan attacks from within its borders. Yemen expert Ginny Hill co-authored the new critical report that was published by the London-based research group Chatham House. Hill said, quote, The U.S. administration has been providing training and military equipment to the Yemeni armed forces for several years now, and there has been an increase in that cooperation and that relation over the course of the last year. There have been a number of strikes where the U.S. is alleged to have been involved. The key thing to note is that al-Qaeda's leadership remains intact despite the increase in resources and the increase in activity. American predator drones fly over the country and have assassinated people the U.S. government has claimed were terrorists as well as civilians. Most of the people are concerned. The aircraft are cursing the sky day and night and we don't know what is behind this. The man in his house is scared, the farmer in his farm is scared, and the student in his school is scared and doesn't know when he will be struck. Hill says there is a danger that U.S.-backed security measures could contribute to tension inside Yemen. She said, quote, it is driving a wedge between the president and the tribes and in a country where there is an enormous amount of hostility towards American foreign policy in the region. It is contributing to perceptions that the government of Yemen does not legitimately represent its population. She says rather than a military focus, the drive should be towards bringing economic and political stability to the country. People are worried. They feel they will be colonized like Iraq and Afghanistan.